Hi, Snoop. What are you up to? New spy satellite. No privacy left. And an aluminum foil cover for protection. This way, they can't read my thoughts. You're joking, right? Think so? Think again. Wow. A satellite that reads minds. Hmm. This is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, what's with all the boxes? That's my science project for the school fair. An alarm system to prevent my goldfish from escaping. I just know I'm going to win. But I better hurry, or I won't have time to set up properly. So, what's your project about? Let me guess. Bogus talking fish again? You're not even close to being funny. And my project is... No! My sand painting! It's destroyed! Yikes. I'm sorry, Stanford. I didn't mean to. I'll help you repair it. Back! You... you... art abominator! Hey, no need to be rude. I said I'm sorry. What's an abominator? I think it's like a terminator. The art terminator. I'll be back. <laughs> cool. Say, your project is popular. Must be the bells and whistles. You can't have too many bells and... Hey, it's not about evil pets. Nice change. You can't do stuff like that. Now people think I'm some sort of space genius. Mm -hmm. I can see how this is shocking to you, being thought of as intelligent. But I, personally, was tired of being publicly ridiculed with your pseudoscience project that no one believes. Talking fish this, evil fish that. Well, why didn't you speak last time? That would have made an impression. And be dissected by curious scientists a second later? I don't think so. Besides, didn't it feel good to get... praise instead of ridicule? Yeah. Yes, it did. See? No harm done. Other than that kid in the lab coat who fainted when he found out someone else won. <laughs> what are you afraid of? That astronauts will whisk me into space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Beanie, I'm so proud of you. These two gentlemen work for the space agency, and they want us to fly down to the space center so they can see your science project. Isn't this wonderful? But... <laughs> what do you say, son? Want to join us? Mom, I'm afraid... I'm afraid you're going to have to pack our bags. We're going to the Space Center. My mom's coming too, right? It's already taken care of. Enjoy your flight. You're not fooling me one bit. It's obvious you're up to something, and I can't wait for you to make your move. Know why? Because Mom is with us, and she'll finally get to see the real you. Hi. Will you be flying with us today? Yes, we will. Me and my son. And my goldfish. Oh, how cute. Careful. He's a mean-spirited megalomaniac bent on world domination. <laughs> kids? Yes, kids. <laughs> Boarding has already started. Have a nice flight. Watch out! He's trying to escape! Last call for flight 2202 to the National Space Center. Last call for flight 2202 to the National Space Center. That's our flight. Let's hurry. I don't know what these things are doing in there. Beanie, don't look at me, it's your purse. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? Last call for flight 2202. The last three passengers are requested at the gate. Beanie, you go ahead, I'm right behind you. Are you sure? Yes, go on, quickly. Hey, calm down, stay put. You're soaking mom's seat. Located your mom. She's fine. We've informed her that you are too. She had this message for you. There's been a mistake, but I'll join you real soon. I'm fine and everything will be all right, so enjoy yourself. Love, mom. Great. Let's get to work and see what that fish of yours can do. Wow. 
Wow. Impressive, isn't it? With these, we have everything we need to control space. This is our newest satellite. Is that the one that reads minds? <laughs> no, it can't read minds. Those are just silly rumors. But it's got powerful lenses, and it can pinpoint any location on Earth. <laughs> can it find my home? That's easy. Let me show you. That's not it. That's the newsstand in front of where I live. It's pretty close, don't you think? I guess, but that's not where I live. We wasted enough time. Why don't we start your goldfish experiment? Now remember, folks, this is only a goldfish, so let's take it easy. Goldfish 97.3% success rate. Astronaut 68.2. Commander, are you thinking what I'm thinking? About tomorrow's launch. And a certain goldfish? Exactly. Beanie, we've decided to include your goldfish in tomorrow's launch. Why is the moon suddenly spinning around? A month from now? I can't wait a month. I've got to leave now. I'm very sorry, but there's nothing I can do. But surely there's another way out. I must get to the NSA Space Center right now. Well, you could try them. Excuse me? Hello? Excuse me? Is the desk clerk here by any chance? Hang on. Hi, would you like to buy a ticket? Uh, yes. One ticket to the NSA Space Center, please. When is the next flight? Uh, as soon as you're ready. That's our plane? Yeah! A real beauty! Well, the day went pretty well, don't you agree? No, I don't. They want to include you in tomorrow's launch. What are you up to? Beanie, dear boy, stop worrying. I told you, I'm doing this so you'll... Sorry. So we'll look good for a change. Relax and enjoy it while it lasts. Relax? Enjoy this? Never. I'm watching you like a hawk. Fine. Do as you wish. As for me, I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's a big day, and I want to be fresh and rested. Good night. That's great, Beanie. You're sleeping like a hawk. Fooled you. Now, let's see what you're up to. Why me, of course. But don't you worry, this baby could fly by you. Oh, shoot. Not again. Screen computer shut down in T minus 6 hours, 54 minutes, 30 seconds. Voice warning shut down in T minus 3, 2, 1, shut down. That went flawlessly. Where is that aquatic monster of mine? I've looked everywhere. Everywhere except... Hmm. Bean is gone. To the bathroom, no doubt. <laughs> Knowing him, he's probably locked himself in. Hello? I've got to wait for someone to come by. Shouldn't be long. There's a launch tomorrow. Did you see Beanie? No. He must be at the launch control room. Did you see Beanie? No. No doubt he's at the launch site. And lift off. We made it alive. Alive. 
sound like I'm the worst pilot there is. Let me just point out that this isn't the airport. You just landed on the road. Say, that explains the funny-looking runway. Hi, I know I'm a little late for the launch, but I've got a pass, see? Thanks for letting me in. Sorry, ma'am. No one's allowed in when there's a lunch. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, no, my son and his goldfish are in there. You have to let me in. Sorry. Oh, Beanie. I'm so sorry I wasn't there with you. I hope you're enjoying it. Sweet mother of fun! I'm floating! I'm in space! Me, in space! And no doubt, so is a certain no-good goldfish. Oh, no! Stop! Whoops! Flying rockets of mercy! Grab the kid before he wrecks the shuttle! Beanie, you almost caused a disaster. If we crashed into the station tanks, they would have burst and sent the station burning back to Earth. I really, really didn't mean to. I just thought my goldfish had stolen the shuttle. A goldfish stealing a space shuttle? Get real, Beanie. Ground control. Come in, ground control. Do you copy? We copy. Go ahead. We have a little stowaway aboard. Copy? Did you say? Excellent. Right on schedule. Let's move on to part two. Stealing the shuttle. <laughs> Why is the main computer shutting down? Stop it before it's... Too late. I'm coming, Beanie. Don't you worry. Mom is on the way. No answers. All lines are dead. We're dropping from orbit... Raging suns, a stowaway, a near collision, and now this. What's next? Realign the solar panels to get more power to the thrusters and stop that pressure loss. But... This is just a precaution. Wait for us in the shuttle while we take care of this problem. Don't worry, and don't bump into anything. Yes, sir. You're catching me at a bad time. Hope you don't mind if I show you the door. Good riddance. And now let's move on to the last part of my brilliant plan. Destroying the space center with their own satellite. <laughs> You won't believe this, but my goldfish stole the shuttle. I guess it must be some sort of malfunction. We'll send you a rescue line and get you back aboard the station, okay? Okay. Why did you stop? I gotta catch my goldfish. I'm sure he's up to no good. Beanie, this is madness. Perfect shot. Whoops. Hang on, Peeny. We'll think of something. And to think I could be with Peeny this very moment, enjoying myself. I've got an idea, but it's a long shot. I'm going to flush the station's garbage at you. What? Don't worry. It'll hit you and knock you toward the shuttle. Beanie, this is very important. If, sorry, when you get back aboard the shuttle, go to the flight deck and press the yellow button on the control panel. This will allow us to bring the shuttle back remotely. Got that? Yes. You've got the right stuff, kiddo. Now watch out. The garbage is coming your way. Whoa! Now, with my little improvements, this thing will be a real blast to use. <laughs> Just a little space junk. Hey, what are you up to? Beanie? Is that you? I didn't think your radio would reach this far. 
How are you? Still lost in space? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I am. You know, lost completely in space. Really far from you. So what are you up to? You can tell me. It's not as though I can stop you this time. Sorry, I'm not saying. I bet it's your best plan yet. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, what the heck? What could you do? Hmm? I'm going to destroy the space center using the spy telescope as a modified magnifier lens. That's it? That's it? That's it? I sent your mom to the frozen north, brought us to the space center, disabled their main computer, coaxed myself about the next launch, stole a shuttle, and in the process end up ruling Earth from above. And all you can say is, that's it? I'd like to see you do better. Be worse than alligator filled sewers. <clears throat> Looks as if I'll have to stop him from outside. But how? Well, this gives me an idea. Good. I've only got to pinpoint the space center and blow it to bits. <laughs> Blast it! I only missed because of these useless controls that were not made for fish fins. There's gotta be a light switch somewhere around here. Ha! There it is. A useless piece of junk! Hey, computer, starting. Please wait a moment. Let's savor the moment. the pressure loss, but we're still falling out of orbit. Blast it! We need more power to the solar panels, or we're lost. What's happening? Commander, it's working! We're going back up! No, no, no! This is all wrong! What's going on here? Rising oceans of freedom, it's you again! from here. Vinny, we owe you a big one. Your mom must be very proud of you right now. Hello? Anyone? I've been locked in here for hours. Hello? What are you doing in here? Uh, it's hard to explain. Where's Vinny? Vinny, on behalf of your country, we'd like to thank you and your goldfish for your courageous rescue of the shuttle and its crew. But you've got it all wrong. My goldfish caused all this trouble. Nonetheless, we've decided to keep your goldfish and send him back into space. Oh, are you nuts? He'll start all over. I know you're sad. And yes, he'll be sent into deep space, never to come back. He'll drift forever, probably lost in another solar system or on some horrible planet. But it's for the greater good. Well, if you put it that way, he's all yours. Darn, I think we're going to keep him after all. Hi, Mom. missed you so much. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Don't worry about it, Mom. So, did I miss anything? 